Hello, welcome to a C++ tutorial. And look, look, I got a screensaver, or desktop wallpaper. What, why did I say screen? Okay, I don't know why, I'm weird. Uh, <laughs> anyways, and so this is going to be a pretty much um, rock, paper, scissors program. And it's pretty simple, pretty easy, I guess, depending on what you think is easy. But to me it is. So let's start off by including, or for you, you sort of have to start off with making a file. But hopefully you know that. Um, if you don't, then I'm sorry. I might do redo the stuff, do the tutorial. But anyways, we, we're going to import or include a bunch of stuff. Um, such as math. I don't think we're going to... Ah, crap, I can't spell. And say stuff at the same time. But I don't think we're going to need math. don't think so. But I know we, we're going to need the standard library. So... Um, what was it? C time. So these are the things you're going to need. And using name space std and main I'm going as fast as I can. Sorry. Return zero. Oh no. And there you go. Now let's go to the meat of the whatever. Um what we need to do is you know every time the program runs, it goes to return zero. Well, what if we don't want it to return zero? What if we want it to keep going, keep playing the game? And until we say when it's over. And so what we need to do is make a while loop. But first we need to tell it when to quit. Just make a variable and call it quit. And let's make it while and quit is uh, not one or wait is equal to negative one and then we could set it to that. I don't think we need to put anything. Yeah, okay. Really we're not gonna use the quit uh, variable, so you might get a warning. A warning. But yeah, it's pretty much it. So we need to get the user choice of you know, and then of, of you know rock paper scissors, and the computer choice, which we call it random and num. Uh, after that, hold up. First, let's go ahead and make the computer um, initialize the randomization. So S rand. I'm looking off a cheat sheet here, cheat sheet here because I don't know every function in the world. Um, especially not random. But actually, random is actually really uh, good use for games like this one. Now let's print stuff out so the user know what's going to do what she was to do. So one would be uh, rock since yeah. And then let's go ahead. Oops. Can't spell, I can't type, I can't do anything. Wow. Um two and rock paper paper. Ah, it's getting on my nerves so bad. And uh paper scissors. Spell that. Scissors. And line. There you go. Now what we're going to do is get the user input. Uh, store it in name, username. After that, we want to see out and line. And then now for what number? 
and um, 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 what? I'm sorry. Um, that was pretty steep. And ah, uh, crap. There you go. And we have plus one. Then ran. And then this. And then I think yeah, three. Or is it? Hold up. No. That makes more sense. Um. As that. Now for the logical statements. Are they called logical statements? There we go. Before that, though, I pre almost forgot. Uh, so, if an argument a user num is equal to negative one, you know, we're gonna say return zero. And that should exit the while loop by force. Probably not the best, but oh well. Something. Um, and this is going to be the weird part f for some people because I do my syntax in a different way than normal. And then I have. Where's it end? Seven. There's seven is it? And space and that makes sense. Uh, and user. Ah, uh, crap. Num. Num. It's equal to two. Oh wait, I have to. Yeah. So let's do this. Get that, there you go. Perfect. And then, or, uh, and, uh, number is equal to three. And, user num equal to, what, uh, one, because, Rock Peaks paper, and oh, I forgot to put this scissors beats. Wait, yeah, it's Rock Peaks paper. Okay, paper beats rock, and okay, yeah, okay, good. Or again, and random random equal to two. And user num is equal to three. Go. Oh, wait, no, we don't think we need that anymore. Because that's all the things we could do. Oh. What else we got? There you go. See how you. Uh, there we got. My bad. You win. There you go. Exclamation mark for for good purpose. That I wish I do not know. Let's make an else. Uh, see how is you lose sadly. And fine. There you go. And there you go. That should be it. A simple paper, rock, paper, scissors. Now let's sort of see if this is correct. No errors. Let's compile it first. I do have an error. And what was it? I'm not declaring the scope. Oh, whoops. Uh, I meant. Username. Why name? Why did I put name? Did I put name? Why did I put name? I don't know. I apparently did it a bunch of times 
over here. Oh, that's weird. Whatever, too late. Dang, that sucks. Name. Okay. There you go. That's a little embarrassing. <laughs> but, anyways. Moving on. Should, I should have put user dumb instead of username. What was I thinking? I don't know. Okay. So, see if this makes sense. The or Wait, actually, there would be a tie. Yeah, there could be a tie, so... What up? After all of this, if... Random num is equal, equal to username. Stupid name. Um, see how... Ty. T. No. <laughs> Ty. Ah, oh, crap, I did it again. Ty. There you go. Do I want to end line? Yes, I do. Or maybe I don't. Oh. Actually, how, how about I insert the number the user put and then end line? Oops. There you go. So, I'll look at, look at the all possible variables, if it's 1 and 3, so random number is 1, random number is u to 3, then of course you lose, what about 2 and 1, so 2, and you choose 1, yeah, correct, correct, okay, I mean, just make sure. Doesn't hurt. Oh, I guess something went wrong. Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, let's just do that. Not equal. There you go. That's better. I tied. Wow. Well, first. Wait. Oh, and I lose. Oh, I guess. Tie and I lose what? Tie and I Okay, okay. Oh, there you go. I'm winning sometimes. I'm losing. Okay, hold up. This might be a little easier. How about negative one? Does that work? Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Um. Hmm. I want to say unless it's not a tie, so... Uh, I can put else if... Or if else, is it if else or else if? I think if... Oh, let's try this way. Else if... again. So one. Okay. A tie or win. I think I inserted four there. So that's random. Put four. <laughs> you lose. There's no such. Okay. Cool. There you go. We can also put if any number is greater than three, then you know, it won't do anything. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that was educational. I mean, I'm not going to go step by step, just something to, re to refresh your mind or something that to think of. Or you're just copying what I wrote down. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching again. Goodbye.